This is a more structured view at how to warm up with someone to read their game. I'm playing in the quarterfinals of someone I've never played before. Remember warm ups are warm ups. Don't hit winners. Work with your opponent to get rally going so you can see what kind of ball they like. Start slow but smooth. I focus on just hitting the ball clean. Uh, watch for balls around your opponent and don't want them to get injured before you start your match. And really start slow for both of you. So we're going to hit the ball clean, give him a good rally. I already played a match and he had a bye. Give him high loops, slow chips. If they miss those, I will roll you because that's basically my entire game is low loops and high chips. Hit the ball in the middle, right to them, see what side they shift to. If they shift to their forehand, they like their forehand. If they shift to their backhand, they like their backhand. Short uh, note, is the one hand backhand, they hit flat, top fin or slice. I like to hit loops in the beginning just to warm up, but I'm rushing that backhand. Keep your feet moving, start to add pace, but focus on hitting the ball clean. I'm a little bit late on my backhand, so I'm already focusing mentally on hitting my backhand right there. Clean. The backhand clean. You body weight to the shot. And then I start to work into a full swing mode. It's very deceptive when you play me, because when I warm up, that you're playing like flat, tough and slice. But when I warm up, I don't play like I warm up. I don't ground stroke. Um, short guys generally don't like high loops. Tall guys don't like low slices, generally. So give them those to warm up to see if they like them. Find those any odd days on the court. It's a little hard to see the ball when it was high. Uh, are there any dips or crannies or cracks on the court? Anything that could cause a problem? Um, I'm just trying to get groove. I don't really hit ground strokes. So what spin does he hit? What spin does he like? Does he hit hard? Does he hit, hit soft? Does he like it hard? Does he like it soft? How are you hitting? What shots are working? If you miss the warm-up, it's okay if it comes later, but there's a point where you have to take that part of your game out if it's not working. That's the hardest thing to do. Your game has fundamental weapons, like your forehand, your backhand, your movement. For me, it's my serve and my volley. If I can't serve and I can't volley, I'm going to lose because there's nothing else I can do. But some things, like I can hit tops and forehands sometimes, and sometimes I can hit tops and backhands. But if I'm not hitting that very well that day, I won't use that in part of my arsenal. And that's what you need to do. Have your primary weapons, two or three, and have fallback weapons that you can use sometimes or may not be used sometimes. I'm actually hitting pretty good. So I'm settling my mind, getting the rhythm of hitting. I'm starting to pick up the pace a little bit now. It's been about two minutes of the warm up. I'm hitting the backhand late, so I'm gonna focus on setting up earlier in the backhand or try to slice. And these are things that help you get ready. Now, how does he react to your volleys? Does he handle it well with his forehand, backhand? Do you, when you hit the volley low, hard, volley to him, focus on clean shots and bring his ground strokes. There's nothing worse than someone that just hits a winner if you're at the net. Either way, if you're in the baseline, you're at the net. When they come in, do the same thing, they just hit the ball right to them. But whoa, does he volley forehand better, backhand better? Does he handle low ball well? What's happening out there when he plays with you? He has a very good volley. How does he move that net? Some people like shift really well to one side and they don't shift really well to the other side. Uh, does he have a lot of underspin in his volley? Is it flat? If they're really flat in the volley, they're very vulnerable to top spin. Um, they have a lot of underspin, it's sometimes hard for them to hit the ball volley hard. When he lobs you, does he lob well? He's a flat top spin. And these are things in the warm up you evaluate the game to form your game plan. Go slow on your serves. Don't hurt yourself with the warm ups. The warm up is actually not your time to warm up. You should have did this previously. But even when you get into a match, you want to start warming up. I try to hide my first serve. Does he have a good serve? Flat spin or slice? Never serve into the body. If you serve into the body there, you'll kill me. I was playing with that stupid ball. And so when you warm up, never serve their body. I'll go wide in the middle, working on my spins, trying to get my body weight coming forward, hanging into the court. Keep my hand clean. I'm not hitting full speed, but I wanted to see the variety of my serve. Form your base game plan. What are you going to do this guy? Big forehand, good serve, good volley, move well. I'll play his backhand, look for a chance to come in. Try to hit high balls to him. 
and that's why I get served back to the back end. That's my standard game plan anyway. So not really doing anything unusual. Um, we're actually going to start, but that's very unusual. Normally I would take a break and go to the sideline and try to think about what we'll be doing this match. Now we settle our mind. He read his shot. Does he hit hard, flat spin? He has a top spin forehand, pretty hard. Slice backhand, moves pretty well. And I, I know I kind of put in my mind this place what I'm going to be doing in my, my matches. Um, I'll probably come to net medium because he looks very experienced. And I'm going to try to execute my game plan. I'm very settled now. So let's see what happens. And that's what you got to do when you're playing. Get yourself settled to play a maximum game. Always have a plan. Try our book, The Book of Mental Focus for Tennis and Life, and Simple Tennis, How to Play Singles. They're both on Amazon.